This is Adrian Larson, co-founder of Pathlight Investors, here with your Pathlight Insight. And today we're talking about the ever-growing burden of student debt. Student debt's been in the news recently as a program from the federal government which reduced interest rates on student loans to 3.4% from 6.8% is set to expire on July 1st of this year uh, if Republicans and Democrats can't come together in a compromise and figure out a way to extend that program. Although that's important, we don't think it's what you should focus on. What we do think you should care about is the alarming fact that the costs of a four-year education have seemingly outstripped the value received by that college graduate. Now, in 2010, a college graduate entered the workforce with an average of $25,250 worth of student debt. So that's $25,000 worth of debt before you have your first job. And then they had to actually find a job. And in this economy, the unemployment rate for recent college graduates is running at about 9.1%, which is a full percentage point higher than the national average at 8.1%. Now, the cost uh, side of the equation is not going to get better. And in fact, from 1990 to 2011, we saw the cost of four-year education, that's tuition and fees, rise by over 300%. I shouldn't even say rise, I should say skyrocket. Uh, this isn't going to get any better. For those of us under the age of 40, uh, we've been told our whole, our whole lives, go to college, follow your dreams, follow your passion, do what you love. Uh, at the end of the day, we're going to have to reevaluate this stance. We have to start looking at our education and looking at college specifically the same way we would look at any other investment. We have to ask ourselves, is the debt that I'm incurring now worth the value that I'm going to receive at the end of this? And in many instances, the answer is clearly no. So, as we look forward, the college student also has a responsibility to try and reduce the overall cost of that college experience. Uh, and there are a couple ways that you can do that. First is going to in-state institutions instead of going out of state or to private institutions. Another way would be to attend a two-year junior college to do your undergraduate general studies prior to going to a four-year institution to graduate. Also, for you high schoolers out there, uh, more AP credits during your high school that can transfer into, into college when you get there and give you a head start on your credits going forward, hopefully getting you to graduate earlier. Um, also, when you get there, you have to choose a major that is going to be in demand in this current economy that we find ourselves. Um, if you study Latin, be prepared to have a hard time finding a job when you get out of school. So you have to take responsibility for your own education and make sure you're positioned well uh, when you actually graduate. So, the youth of America are already saddled with enough debt, given our $15 trillion worth of federal debt that we have, uh, in addition to the $1.5 trillion deficits that we continue to run. So what I would like to do is not saddle that youth uh, needlessly and pile on with extra debt coming out of school. Thanks a lot. Take care.